today to think positively is heading out to the beach, uh, which is pretty nice today. Mm. We've got our air temperature out there in the mid to upper 80s. Water temperature is kind of a cool 81 degrees. I say cool because it's getting lower and lower. We were right or we were like 91, 92 degrees at the peak of the summer and it just felt like getting on a bathtub. Now we're, we're finally starting to cool off. We do see some sunshine out there, but the UV index is only high instead of at the extreme levels because our sun angle gets lower and lower even at the peak heating hours. So small waves today and by small I mean only about a foot if you're lucky, but our wave heights ramp up as we head into the rest of the week. This is because of a cold front making its way through the coastal bend. I put the fall leaves out there because it is going to be a little taste of fall with this front. Now very little to no rain, but I'll show you who has the best shot at getting rain. We've got some gusty wind anticipated 40 mile per hour gust possible, but here's that taste of fall I'm talking about. Are you ready for this? This afternoon's high, so the high this afternoon will be in the mid 90s. It'll be at 3 p.m. around 95 degrees today. Our temperatures don't fall too cold overnight. That cold front is going to move through really any time between about 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. And as the front passes through, we will see those temperatures staying in the upper 70s, possibly the low 80s, but likely the upper 70s throughout the day tomorrow. So that's 95 to 78. That is anywhere that's that's a moderate front, right? It's not quite a 20 degree difference, but it's pretty close. The the bigger cold air, the bigger blast, not a not an Arctic blast, but the bigger drop in temperature is going to be for kind of the deep south and areas across the East Coast. We're in that kind of in between ground uh, where we're on the back side of the trough. And so that's why we've been calling this a backdoor cold front, taking our temperatures from hot to mild into to tomorrow afternoon. So the wind is something you've got to keep in mind. As I mentioned, areas along the coast could see 40 mile per hour gusts as early as 9 a.m. Areas inland getting closer to 32 all the way up to 35 mile per hour gusts, mostly out of the northeast, but shifting east northeast throughout the day. The best chance of rain is not across the coastal bend. We have an isolated opportunity for some rain pretty much from Rockport south, uh, but scattered showers are better opportunity of rain from back and Bay South and so you'll see that here on future cast sunshine today. That's one of the reasons why it's so hot tomorrow morning. A chance for some rain right along and ahead of that cold front that passes through. You'll see those showers increasing in strength and numbers south of Baffin Bay. Then as we head into Thursday, we'll see still some cloud coverage sticking around. We're going to keep our skies a little cloudy. A little bit of light rain is possible even heading into the weekend as this front starts to lift back north as a warm front, but high pressure is set to return. It looks like uh, past our seven day forecast. So for Jazz Fest, we have a very low chance of rain coming up this weekend, but temperatures are going to be still hovering right around normal, if not well. Well, a couple of degrees above normal. So enjoy this taste of fall while we have it. We've got those cooler temperatures in store for Wednesday and Thursday.